you wanted to hire a junior developer, well, you don't have to now, as I have found a new AI tool that becomes your special junior developer for AI needs, and it's quite reputable and effective. It's an open source project which allows you to use it for free for anyone and for any sort of purpose. It's also extendable so you can build on top of this. Introducing Sweep AI. Sweep is an AI junior developer that refactors and writes code on based off of units, tests, or different types of Python code. You can transform bug reports and feature requests into code changes with just the description as well as with the help of AI. It has the ability to reach your code base, plan the changes, write the pull request with code, and it's able to do this with AI super efficiently and effectively. It's something that is very powerful and it's something that you can access right now. Just take a look at this example where one of the devs behind Sweep AI is using Sweep to refactor itself and add unit tests. It starts off by the dev asking Sweep to refactor the payment relay logic out of their own ticket method. He then goes forward and demonstrating how Sweep adds unit tests to ensure that the refactored code works correctly. Now we can then see at the end of this demo with Sweep, you're able to use the code formatter feature to clean up the code and create a clean pull request, which is something that we can see at this current moment. It's something that makes it super easier for developers as well as coders to use to make it so much more efficient to write and as well as edit code. Now, this is one of the great things about Sweep AI and this is something that we're going to explore throughout today's video as you uncover the capabilities of Sweep AI. We're going to showcase how you can get started as well as showcase how you can deploy your own junior developer with Sweep AI. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI. Definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Sweep AI, which is an AI junior developer that streamlines and helps the process of fixing bugs and adding new features in code using AI. Now, unlike other tools, Sweep doesn't just handle parts of an issue. It can tackle the entire task and work on multiple tasks at the same time. Developers can basically describe what they need to actually fix or add, and Sweep can basically just read the code, plan the changes, and create the necessary code improvements based on what you tell it. This means that you as a developer or a user can avoid manually opening your own development environment for a small task and just have it basically push towards Sweep AI to complete. It's something that also considers feedback from developers as well as comments on pull requests. And this is something that makes it a more like reputable tool for improving code efficiently. So this is something that we're going to explore throughout today's video as I showcase how you can get started, talk a little bit more about the tools as well as the future roadmap. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get to the next step where I actually showcase some of these features. In terms of the other features that are associated with Sweep AI, you're able to turn issues directly into pull requests without an IDE, which makes it quite a game changer. It addresses developer replies and comments on its PRs. It's able to use embedded based code scratch with popularity, popularity re-ranking for repository level code understanding. You're able to also have this incorporated within GitHub so that you can basically fix different types of actions right directly into your GitHub repo. Now, there's also another feature where you can debug, fix, and chat along with Sweep AI to work on certain things. And this is something that I'll showcase in the next step where we showcase a couple examples. But before we do that, let's take a look at the roadmap. In terms of the roadmap, they have stated that the sandbox for code execution, what they've stated is that Sweep will be able to run any command you want it to while developing your code. This basically allows pre-commit hooks, 
uh, developments to staging environments. And basically another one is a repository wide change, which is allowing sweep to change things across the whole repo. Now, these are some of the cool things that will be very beneficial for a lot of coders as well as a lot of developers. These are some of the things that you should definitely keep in mind with this open source project. So definitely stay tuned with all of these links in the description below. And let's get to the next step where we take a look at some examples and use cases of Sweep AI. Now, just take a look at this example where you're able to clean up your tech debt automatically. Now, in this example, we see that the user starts off by using Suite to automate the cleanup of technical debt in their own code base, which you can see down over here. Now, what he has done is that he issued a command to Sweep to instruct it to refactor a specific function, and Sweep then goes on to refactor it and automate this whole process. You can see another example down here where you're able to unit test your new features automatically, and this is where Sweep writes the unit test and fixes any broken business logic they catch. This is through going through this whole like basic example or sorry not example but their code base to do this and this is just a couple of the things that we talked about as to what you can do with sweep ai it's practically your personal ai assistant your junior developer or whatever you may call it and it effectively like does the code for you and it makes it so much easier as a developer to use something like this because you don't need to have like you don't need to take the time to create and take pull requests to refactor it edit it and do all these menial tasks that might take up a lot of time this is why sweep is a good like solution to all of this and it's something that you can use at this current moment for free now there's two methods to get started with using sweep ai you can definitely use their github app or you can have it self-hosted the self-hosted method is something that you can get started with fairly easily it's something that doesn't take that long five minutes approximately and you can watch their video demo that showcases this where you install sweep instances via docker you simply create a github app clone the repository go into their actual folder install the requirements that are needed you then go forward and deploy it with github connect your environments like such as openai's api token then you host sweep and then from this you then go forward to create an instance and install it using docker and docker compose and you can start working with it with a self-hosted method through docker now the easiest way is definitely installing the github app with sweep ai this is something that you can do with this link in the description below i'll leave it so that you can access it fairly easily but you simply just install it and you can then import it to your github issue that you want to work on in this case we can see that you create an issue for on your own repository and you add this command sweep and colon and then you add the function or like the command that you want it to work on and we can see that it then goes forward and switching like using the sweep to fix the prs and refracting methods now they have a lot of video like the, like tutorials as to what you can do and how you can do it so if you're interested definitely watch these videos so you can get a better idea as to how this operates now they also mention the pricing structure they offer unlimited gpt 3.5 tickets for every user but if you want to use gpt 4 you're going to need to connect your api to do so as this is something that costs a lot of money so if you're interested in that definitely take a look at the suite plus plan which you can uh, pay 120 a month for 30 tickets but that's basically a gist as to how you can install it. I'm not going to be showcasing a step-by-step -step process as to how you can do it. You, there's a full-on documentation as to how you can uh, install the GitHub app as well as how you can have it self-hosted. For example, for usage, you can check out the tutorial from the documentation which shows you how to get started with Sweep, how you can connect it with your GitHub, and how you can start working with sweep to solve different types of pull requests for different types of repositories you can go to the advanced sweep features documentation which shows you the best features as to how you can prompt format be more specific and solve certain things and you can do the exact same thing with configuration extra self hosting configuration as well as the sandbox which gives sweep dev tools now if you go to the examples tab it showcases a lot more different types of examples of issues that they've solved using sweep and they also showcase this on their actual website, which shows like how people have used this and how they incorporated it into their own workflows to create a more productive and efficient workflow. 
And that's basically concluding today's video on Sweep AI. This is a really useful tool for a lot of developers and coders. It's an AI junior developer that's going to be helping you efficiently write code as well as help clean it up. But that's basically it for today's video. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it really easily. But that's it. Make sure you guys follow World of AI on Twitter if you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that will definitely benefit you. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.